and welcome back. So today I have another haul video for you all and I know I've actually been doing quite a lot of hauls recently and I just wanted to say it's because I've been traveling a lot. Honestly when I travel I shop a lot. You're kind of exposed to lots of shops and things when you're out and about um, seeing new places so um, yeah I have been shopping a lot recently um, and I don't really know what other justification I have for it other than I've been traveling. Anyway, I was in New York last week for BeautyCon, which was super, super exciting. Um, I got flown out there to speak on a panel um, and to have a meet and greet, which was awesome because I got to meet loads of you. And if you were at BeautyCon and you met me, um, then thank you so much for coming up and saying hello because you made my day. Anyway, when I was in New York, I hadn't intended on buying a whole lot of stuff because I have, like I said, been shopping a lot recently but there were some amazing sales on and I got some awesome bargains and I thought I can't not share them with you all because that's kind of what I do on this channel isn't it anyway without further waffling and justification of spending money blah 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 um, boring let's get into the actual shopping Kate Spade I had a 50% off voucher for Kate Spade that I actually got given when I was in Dallas last month and I looked um, at Kate Spade when I was there and I didn't really find anything. And because I was going to New York with my friend Lauren, I thought she might like um, to use the voucher as well because it's pretty um, rare that you get given like vouchers like that. Anyway, so I ended up buying, I was quite restrained because I was looking at the handbags and looking at the clothes and I was like, no, 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 rein it in. Um, and I ended up coming away with some bracelets now, whenever I'm in Kate Spade, I always eye up their bangles because um, they're really pretty. She does like a whole load of different bangles and I really, really like the hinged ones because they aren't too big for my wrists. I find with bangles that you push over your hand, they obviously have to be quite big to fit on your hand. Whereas the hinged ones, because they go on like that, they actually, I'm gonna try and put it on with one hand, hang on a minute. Um, they're actually quite snug fitting. So I ended up getting four of these. I got the plain gold one. I got a coral one, I'm going to put them on now because they're so lovely, um, I got a coral one, I got a turquoisey kind of, mm, it's probably more of a cornflower blue actually um, than a turquoise and then I also got this one which is my favourite one which says I dare you on it and that's kind of a signature thing of Kate Spade to do the little like slogan jewellery but I just thought these would be really really cute for summer. I think. Um, they were 50% off and then with the exchange rate I think all of them together ended up at about 60, 65 pounds which is really good considering I think in England if you were to buy one they're around about 40 pounds each so I felt like I got a bargain with those and I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them over the summer as well. Another couple of jewellery pieces I picked up that weren't from Kate Spade I also got this ring which again I'm going to put on because I love it um, this was actually from Marc Jacobs and my friend Lauren and I actually went shopping in the West Village and they have like five or six Marc Jacobs shops just in that area. It's quite crazy. He like has the little square area and he has all the shops around. Anyway, this was from the Marc by Marc Jacobs line and I think it was, this was one of the only items that I got that wasn't on sale. This was about $58 but I think it's really pretty. It's one of the kind of triple rings that you wear on two fingers like that. So it's like a little screw stud and then two halves of a flower. Again, the colour almost matches um, my bracelet as well as coral one. So I really like that. Um, and I thought that was like a cute little purchase. And then actually we got three things that weren't on sale. Um, another thing I ended up buying, last thing jewellery wise, were these two skinny, really, really fine bracelets. I actually had seen these on um, somebody I know and I thought how pretty they were and they actually were selling them on the side of the street probably like fake or I don't know what they were but they have like lots of little stools in Soho in New York um and yeah so I ended up getting those and I think they'll be really pretty to kind of wear on a day-to-day -day basis just like little dainty bracelets I thought they were cute. Moving on to clothes the first place that was having an awesome sale was Bloomingdale's I ended up picking up two things um the first one was this little um, it's actually shorts, but it is it looks like a skirt. So I guess it's kind of culottes or a culottes only long. I don't know. Either way, these baggy shorts, um, these are from Free People. And these were originally $78. And then they were reduced, 
I can't remember, I think they were 40% off. They ended up being around $40 as well, which was like 25 pounds ish, um, which I thought was quite good for free people. I rarely, rarely buy their full price stuff because I think it is overpriced for what it is, but I really liked these and I thought these would be really nice for the summer. They're also really comfortable to wear because they're nice and loose and flowing. Um, and if we ever get any hot weather in England, they will be nice. The second thing I got from Bloomingdale's was the other thing that wasn't on sale. Um, and this was like a real thoughtful purchase for me. I had to like um and ah about these for a long time because I do have a pair already, but my ones are totally worn out. Uh, they are the Citizens of Humanity um, Avedon or Avedon um, Slick Skinny Leg Jeans. And these are the black ones. I bought a pair of these almost two years ago it would have been actually almost exactly two years ago and i've worn them so much they're pretty much the only skinny jeans that i wear they are so thick and so soft but they fit almost like a jegging but some jeggings are labeled jeggings and they're really not like a legging these are so comfortable and so flattering they are by far my favorite 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 skinny jeans I've ever had because they really do look like jeans like they have all the details of jeans they have the pockets and the zips and everything but the material it's they're almost as comfortable as wearing like a tracksuit bottom uh, they really are amazing and they are pretty pricey but they are cheaper in the states so um, I treated myself to some new ones these are going to be my kind of like smarter going out ones whereas my old ones have really because I've worn them so much for the last two years they've really stretched out um, and I'm going to wear them as like my day-to-day -day around the house pair because I wear them all the time. Okay, so moving on to Club Monaco. Club Monaco is quite a grown-up shop. Um, we don't have it in the UK and it's quite, I think a lot of it is quite office wear and it is quite expensive. So I don't really tend to shop in there that much. But I popped in and found their amazing sales section, which was already reduced and there was an extra 40% off the currently like marked down price so basically it was an insane sale and i ended up picking up three things the first thing is this dress i actually got this i'm going to a wedding um in a couple of weeks and i bought this probably to wear at the wedding i think this is what i will wear anyway it's this quite structured dress as you can see it's got a graphic multicolored print the quality of this is so nice and it's got little fake leather kind of details down the front as well and then little back black sleeves and this was reduced this is like my favorite bargain of the trip this was reduced from 229 dollars and then the last markdown price was 69 dollars and then it was an extra 40 percent off that so i ended up getting this for i think 48 dollars which roughly works out at 29 pounds something like that so basically 30 pounds for this really, really beautiful, amazing quality dress that was originally $230, which is pretty good, I think. Another thing I would say, if you're shopping at Club Monaco, or if you're shopping online especially, um, make sure you pay attention to the sizes because their dress sizes especially run really, really, really big. So I'm normally a six in American sizing and I was a two in this dress and a zero in another thing that I bought and a four in something else I bought. So their sizes are like, all over the shop but generally run really really big the next thing i bought was this skirt and this is again quite a structured um it's almost like a pencil skirt but it's not quite as long it's made out of it's not quite neoprene but it, it's almost like a thin neoprene it's not stretchy like neoprene is and it has this diagonal zip and like a fake leather um band across the bottom this is actually the same material it's just coated with this like fake leather stuff so that's what that looks like and again this was reduced from a hundred and fifty dollars to 99 um and then an extra 40 percent off so it ended up being about 40 pounds uk um or 60 dollars us which i thought was really good 65 dollars i think this is a really nice staple the quality is lovely as well and i tend to wear um, black skirts a lot. I like having like statement jewellery or a statement top and then um, keeping it neutral on the bottom half because that's kind of what suits my body shape more um, because I'm bigger on the bottom than I am on the top. So yeah, I like that a lot and I think I'll wear it a lot. And then last but not least, 
for Club Monaco is this dress, which is quite a preppy style actually. And I was really unsure about this, but um, again, I was with my friend and she was like, yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Um, so I kind of got swayed by her. Um, but yeah, this is in a size zero, okay? I'm definitely not a size zero. Um, and it's this textured, it almost reminds me of like um, a garden party or like going to play tennis or something really polite, but it's got a zip down the front and it looks really nice when it's belted actually. And then it's got these thick pleats. It's actually made out of a very heavy material too. Um, and it's really soft. This again was reduced from 179 down to 129 with an extra 40% off. And then I can't remember what it was in dollars, but it turned out to be about 50 pounds. So probably 75, $80. Um, so yeah, that was the more expensive one, but I really, really like it. And I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it because it's a summery style, but it's quite thick and we don't have really good weather in England, so I'll probably get quite a lot of wear out of it over the summer. Um, another thing I got, again, that wasn't on sale, I, I kind of underestimated the amount of stuff I got that wasn't on sale, there's maybe four things, um, was this dress from H&M, which I know you can get H&M in England, but I hadn't seen this dress in there, so I really like it. It's quite a similar kind of graphic print to the other dress, actually, but what I really love about this is that it has um, almost like a dipped hem, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on here, but it goes lower at the front and at the back, and I just think it's really pretty. It's got lots of material in the skirt as well, which I just think it makes it really girly and nice. The material is very soft. It has an exposed zip down the back. You could definitely like dress this up and dress it down, and I think it would be really nice for summertime. It was fifty dollars, forty nine ninety five. So again, just under thirty pounds, and yeah. I like that a lot, I think it's really nice. And last, but not least for the whole haul, is um, something from Gap. And I never really shop at Gap. I, I used to buy jeans from Gap a lot, um, but I haven't for a long time. And I was in there um, and Lauren was trying on some jeans and I spotted this, which is a maxi skirt. This is probably gonna wreak havoc with the camera, all these stripes. Um, it is a navy and white striped maxi skirt and I've seen a few people wear similar things to this and thought how nice they looked. This is made out of a really, really thick jersey and I just think it's really, really pretty. It was, I've actually taken the label out, however, it was 40% off. They were having a memorial weekend sale in Gap when we were out there, it was Memorial Day. Um, and so I think it can't even remember, I think it was 20 something pounds UK it translated to, but either way it was a pretty good bargain and I think I'll wear it a lot. As long as it doesn't rain, this is my problem with maxi skirts in England, is you can't really wear them when it rains, um, and it, yeah, it kind of annoys me. Anyway, that is the last thing I got, ta-da, um, from New York. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul video, just a cheeky little haul video for your Mondays. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you again on Friday. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, um, and then you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video, which if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the week. Bye.